From my it was the formal introduction of Lote Guam to the public, with Lote unveiling detailed plans for transforming the duty-free concession space at the airport. I'm honored to share with the community today that the airport is in a position to engage in various opportunities throughout this year to emerge as a regional leader to a global competitor. It is with great honor that we are able to unveil our first of its kind of retail concept for Guam International Airport. Lightfoot Design CEO Alex Cook walked the audience through the look and feel of his new design developed for Lotte. The core element of uh, the, the proposal is the local flavor. Um, I think a major criticism, and my company um, specializes in duty-free retail around the world, a major criticism is that every airport tends to look the same. I think we can agree that this one will very much feel like you're in Guam and giving you the very best last impression of Guam to send tourists uh, on their way back to their home markets. But the optimism was dampened by a news release from DFS that came just before the start of the news conference, DFS announcing it had filed both a lawsuit in Superior Court and an appeal with the Office of Public Accountability protesting the award decision. Can you give us your reaction to the lawsuit that DFS has filed today and the appeal with the OPA that they filed over this procurement? Yeah, I wasn't aware that they filed today. Um, as far as we were concerned, uh, prior to conducting this, we're moving forward with a contract. Um, I, I guess we'll be hearing from our attorney shortly on the duty-free latest actions. DFS attorney Maurice Sue told us that they have serious grounds to believe that the proposal process was conducted in a way that violates the laws of Guam. In essence, uh, we feel that uh, Lotte and the airport uh, violated a number of the rules that govern uh, whether or not a, uh, a bidder is a responsible bidder within the meaning of the rules and whether or not the bid was responsive to uh, the RFP. DFS also believes that their protest and lawsuit stays the transition of the concession space to Lotte. The timeline is critical. On Saturday, May 18th, GIAA signed the contract with Lotte just one day after rejecting DFS's initial protest. Then last Tuesday, the airport formally notified DFS that they had 60 days to vacate the premises. The airport was very clear in their 36-page opinion, and they couldn't be any more clear. What they said was uh, DFS did not follow the rules because they did not file a timely protest within 14 days from when they knew or should have known of the facts surrounding their protest. Therefore, there is no automatic stay. You don't follow the procurement rules because of the untimely protest, and therefore the OPA has no jurisdiction because this was not properly submitted in time. The basis. Uh, first of all, as I understand it, he is alleging that the original protest with the airport was not timely, but uh, we have been protesting the RFP process since October 30th of 2012 uh, and have been in communications with the airport since that time. I wholeheartedly agree with the opinion of the, of the airport. It's uh, very clear. Uh, the protest of DFS is untimely. They didn't follow the rules. It lacks merit and, and therefore is completely frivolous according to the airport's uh, findings. Lote Guam will proceed then with the transition as scheduled. That's correct. Then that's completely in accord with the opinion from the airport. Again, there, there is no automatic stay. If he is talking about the appeal from the uh, airport's denial of the bid protest, I would like to point out that uh, the appeal was denied on Friday, May 17th, and then GIA entered into the, the putative contract with Latte on Saturday, May 18th, literally leaving no time between May 17th and May 18th uh, for there to be uh, any sort of appeal. But Regardless of that, in any case, we believe that there is an automatic stay in effect. In addition, DFS says that while their protest and lawsuit play out, they remain the duty-free concessionaire at the airport, and they have voluntarily decided to increase their lease payments to the airport to the tune of $10.9 million annually, the same amount that the airport says they'll be getting from Lotte. DFS says they'll start paying that higher amount effective July 14th when the 60-day notice from the airport to vacate the premises takes effect. 
But Cabot called that offer ludicrous and said Lote Guam will proceed with the transition and they expect DFS to be out by July 14th and he's prepared to take legal action to ensure that. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.